In this video, I'm going to cover lab number four um, from the Flackbox free Cisco CCNA lab guide download, which you can get at flackbox.com. So let's get started. We have the name of the lab is the Cisco troubleshooting methodology, and it says this lab tests your network connectivity troubleshooting skills. Um, let's scroll down. And the first thing that we want to look at, it says the host with IP address 10.10.10.10, .10 .10 .10, which is here, has been configured as a DNS server and should be able to resolve requests for routers 1, 2, and 3. Members of staff have complained that DNS is not working. From router 3, use Telnet to check if the DNS service appears operational on the DNS server at 10.10.10.10. .10 so uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'll pull that up. Let's pull the command line and let's get into privilege exec mode. And it just wants us to telnet 10.10.10.10. And we're going to move this over here. In packet tracer, you can jump forward in time so you don't have to wait. This is a 30 second jump, I think. And then it says connection timed out, remote host not responding. Okay. So they got the same thing. When you verify the DNS is not working, troubleshoot and fix the problem. You have fixed the problem when R3 can ping R1 by hostname. Note there may be more than one issue causing the problem. So the first thing that we want to do is see if everyone is having a problem. So we'll start at R1. We're going to go to the command line. Um, and let's just uh, do enable for uh, privilege exec mode. And let's just try pinging 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10 and we'll give that a second to see what goes on and we we're able to success successfully ping 10.10.10.10 from router one so let's go to router two um, let's go to the command line and we're going to do enable and then we're going to ping 10.10.10.10 see if it's able to ping and right now we're waiting it's failing the the dot or the period means unsuccessful, whereas an exclamation point means successful. So 0%, okay, that failed. And then R3, um, let's ping. Uh, we're going to ping 10.10.10.10. And I don't know why. Um, I don't know what the U is here. I'm not sure what that is, but the success rate is zero, so it failed. So um, not always good to see if everybody's having the problem. And right now, um, router one can ping, but router two and three can't ping the server. So let's start with router three and let's see if we can figure out uh, where the problem is. So let's do a uh, trace route command from router three to 10.10.10.10, 10.10.10.10, and it should show a next hop of 10.10.20.2 and then to the server. So we got the next hop of 10.10.20.2. Um, not sure what this is, so let's try that again. Okay, so something's not right here. Okay, we're having, we're definitely having 10.10.20.2, which it should be here. So we have some kind of issue here. Um, let's do the uh, show IP interface brief to make sure the interface is configured correctly uh, for fast ethernet 00, 10.10.20.1, which is this. It's up and up. That's good. Um, so that seems okay. Let's look at the interfaces here. Uh, show IP interface brief. And we have two interfaces we need to look at. Pull this over a little more. Okay, so 10, uh, fast ethernet 00, 10, 10, 2, that's correct. Here's a problem. Administratively down. And then 10, 10, 10, 10 22. Uh, is up and up. So we need to bring this interface up right here. So this is down. So um, let's do the uh, go to prompt T for global configuration mode. 
we need to go into that interface. So I'm going to type int tab interface FA for fast ethernet. And then we're, we're going to do zero zero and let's issue the no shut command for no shutdown. And it shows us it, sh it changed the state to up. And then let's do show IP interface brief. And now that interface is up and up and that one's up and up. Okay, that's good. I want to go back here. I want to retry the trace route. Uh, and let's see what happens. So we should have a hop to 10.10.20.2, which is here. Okay, that worked. And then we need to, should end up at 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. And let's see what's going on. Let's try pinging 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. 10.10. Okay, so we have a successful ping. So we've got connectivity here. Um, we need to think about the, uh, we, we established connectivity and now we need to, um, let's try, well, let's just try pinging R1 because that was the end goal. So let's go back to that and see where, what's going on, translating. Let's go forward in time. About a minute, there we go. Translating our one uh, domain server 10.10.10.1, unrecognized host or address or protocol not running. 10.10.10.1 um, .10 is not the server. Let's go change that. So right now router three thinks 10.10.10.1 is a DNS server. Um, so let's go into global configuration, or actually let's do this first. Um, let's do the show run, which is show running config command and see what's listed. And it says IP name server is 10.10.10.1. Okay, that's not correct. Let's go into global configuration mode. Um, we want to issue the, to set up the, a name server uh, for DNS, you type in IP name, you can hit um, the question or the uh, uh, if you after IP you could hit the question mark and it'll list the available commands the options and then right here see this name server so we'll do that and we're going to type in name and then we're going to tab to let it auto fill the rest auto complete and then the name server that's listed is 10.10.10.1 now if I were to hit enter that would tell the router to set the name server as 10.10.10.1. We want to undo that command. So let's use control A to jump to the beginning here. And let's just input no, so that we'll negate the command, we'll remove it. So no IP name server 10.10.10.1, pull that. Now we want to up arrow to, re to bring the uh, previous command back up. The correct name server is 10.10.10.10. .10 so let's fix that here. Control A to get to the beginning of the line. And then we just need to pull out the node. Um, I got an issue here. Something is not right. Let's try that again. And then I'm just gonna scroll over a little bit. There we go. So now let's issue the command IP name server 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. Enter. And let's do a do show run for the show running configuration. And IP name server 10.10.10.10 .10 is set. Um, let's end and let's ping R1. Let's go forward in time a minute. There we go. Unrecognized host or protocol not running. So 10.10.10.10 .10 is correct. We do know we have connectivity from all of these, but we still don't have name service. Um, so let me look at uh router two let's hit end uh, show run and it's got the correct name server so that's good and router one go run correct name server 10.10.10.10 at .10 so let's look at the um protocol not running so let's look at the server and we're going to go here and when you in packet tracer you just click the device and then look for the services tab and then you go down to the service you want and there's our problem 
So DNS service is off, although the uh, entries are there for the different routers and their IP addresses. It's off, so let's turn that back on. Go back to R3. We're gonna hit the up arrow, click here a couple of times to get back to ping command of R1. Let's hit enter, ping R1, success. And that should be it. So you have fixed the problem when R3 can ping R1 by host name. So after you've um, completed your troubleshooting, um, the Cisco troubleshooting methodology, the last step is solve and document. So we solved it, now we need a document. And you would actually write down what, what you found. So we saw that Router 2 had an issue with an interface being shut down. We saw that I think it was Router 3 had the wrong um, IP address for the DNS server. And we saw that the DNS server, the DNS service was turned off. So you would want to document that and then submit it to whatever, um, you know, wiki or whatever the company you work for has for documenting the problem. So future reference, if you run into the same thing yourself or others can reference that. So that's the end of this lab. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.